So, all right, guys. So many of us know that um, Judo Jean LaBelle, one of like the greatest like legends in, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Trying to, trying to grab the camera from me, I got it. Like I know how to do a selfie, right? <laughs> I'll let you, I'll let you hold it, hold it in a minute, Josh. All right, that's Josh right there. Adding a little content to my two minute video. So guys, many of us know that um, Judo Jean LaBelle passed away. Um, I forgot how old he was, but he was old in his 80s, right? And um, back in the day, in the 90s, when I was trying to learn jujitsu, there was some VHS tapes with Judo Jean LaBelle. And uh, so I got these VHS tapes and they were, they were kind of weird, man. This, they were very like, like wrestling, like, like more like um, what you would see in like WCW or, or what was WWF back then. Um, and it was, the videos almost looked like a spoof for martial arts. I don't know, but I know, man, the dude is, the dude's great. I'm going to tell a story at the end of this video about Gene LaBelle. Um, but, um, but for now I want to mention something. And it's like, you guys learning some moves tonight. Some of these guys are learning some techniques that, um, were a little bit different than I've normally been teaching. And I want to say that sometimes you learn a technique and you learn it, but you don't have quite have it in your arsenal. And then years later, it pops back up. And there was this move in this VHS tape that Gene LaBelle put out in the 90s that I learned. And he called it like the honeymoon submission or something like that. I'm going to show what it was. Josh, you going to hold the camera? And I'll borrow Scene here. Come on over here, Scene. Where are you at? So, so this is what the submission looked like. So Scene's laying on his back. Go ahead and lay on your back. So, yeah, I'm confused too. When I saw the move, I was like, what? Now, and this was the 90s that I saw this. So if anyone has the video and you're like, that's not how he did it, sorry guys. But they'd have this submission where he had like his arm here. We don't even know how to get in the position. He had his arm like this, right? And then he like put this leg over the person and then he submitted him here. And I learned that from the video. But, but I learned it and it's like, well, how will I ever be in this position? And Jean LaBelle made some joke where it's like, oh, you're laying in bed watching you're watching a movie with your wife and she says something and you're like, oh, I'll show you something. Whack! And then that's why he called, I don't, you know, he called it like the marriage submission or something. But I want to tell you guys something. I put it in my jiu-jitsu arsenal and I have smashed people with this technique and this is how I did it. Come on over here, Zane. It became one of my favorite submission holds. Thank you, judo master Jean LaBelle. Um, I did it like this. I go from butterfly guard and I make underhooks. And instead of catching the wrist here, I, I make an overhook. And when I went for my sweep like this, I would let him stay and I'd switch legs and I'd submit the person here. Let's watch that again. So I've probably caught that hundreds of times on people throughout the years. Thanks to that video that I saw in the 90s from Jean LaBelle. So I'm here, I overhook, and I come here, wham, and then I switch, boom, and then submission. So that might look kind of ugly, but yo, rest in peace, Judo Jean LaBelle. I hope you're uh, rustling up there with the angels, man. And I appreciate everything you've done for jiu-jitsu and for judo for all of us. Thanks, buddy.